The session was on empowering the most vulnerable in disaster risk reduction. And uh, essentially this session we have always heard about what is vulnerability. But this session was very different from all other sessions because here we actually talked about how the vulnerable section could be empowered post-disaster and pre-disaster. Right. So we had five papers and uh, each of them discussed a different perspective. Uh, one was on empowering, uh, one paper was how to empower the vulnerable section through education. There was another paper which talked about uh, school emergency evacuation. Again, that's also through education. A case study from Sri Lanka, which is uh, done by UNDP, is was highlighted in that paper. And uh, then there was a paper from Ethiopia, which spoke about the need for having urban disaster mitigation plans. It seems in Ethiopia they have 85% of the population which lives in rural areas. And... Uh, the urban mitigation plan is somewhat neglected. So they talked about the urgency to address the urban mitigation plans. Right. And finally, we had the most interesting paper in our session, which was to address uh, the special population, uh, which is normally neglected by all disaster managers and many of the agencies, major agencies in disaster management. So. And can I ask you, what do you feel the most important paper was in your session? Uh, well, the most important paper being myself in this sector for the past few years, I found this paper on addressing the special needs uh, of the special, uh, the, the needs of the special population. Uh, the, uh, the, that was really a very eye, big eye-opener for all of us because um, uh, that is a population which is neglected, which all of us, we fail to normally address. And people who are visually impa impaired, people who can't hear, people who can't, uh, who are colorblind. So this is a population which we, we, we haven't taught them how to respond during and after a disaster and pre-disaster. We really have to develop course material and involve them as to how they want uh, a disaster management training to be given to them. So I find this paper the best one and hope GRF comes up with this enriching ideas that came out in our uh, session and addresses these issues. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, Dr. Swati Mitra. Thank you, pleasure.